Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are making the Crafty Companion Crafty Workstation with the mini racks on top. That is the project we are currently working on. It's this one right here. We've already made this one. And that one is this right here. This one has got the um, crafty trays and the crafty dividers on top. I will put a link to a playlist up here and down below if you want to watch this one from start to finish. If you want to make this from start to finish, this was fun. It was easy. And there is also a special playlist for this workstation. Um, I'll link it up here and down below so you can start from the beginning and go step by step and you can make this with us as well. These are printable templates. They are will be linked down below in the description box. They're available in my Etsy shop. There is also a special Amazon page that I make for each one of my projects. So for this Crafty Companion, there'll be a specific Amazon list that has everything in it that I use or the equivalent of, if I can find it, will be in there. So that's a good reference point. You can go check that out and see what's in there. Okay, so in the last video, we made the uh, Crafty Trays. And these are the three we made. So there's three sizes. I had already pre-made these other ones, so we didn't make those in video, but um, they're all made the exact same way. So this is how far we've gotten. We made the tray and then we wrapped them all the way around. So now in this video, we're gonna mat the inside. We're going to mat the outside. We're gonna put handles on. Let me, we gotta do one thing first before we start matting the inside. I need to get, this is just a piece of laminate um, chipboard that I use as like a palette. So I'm gonna take my Distress Ink, this is Vintage Photo. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to, just like we have with all the other things, I am going to paint the inside, um, oops, paint the inside crevices so it's not stark white and matches everything else. So I'm just gonna get that wet. And I'm just gonna go in and fill in all of these pieces or all of these crevices. On all three of these trays. And then I will be back. It doesn't take but a minute, so it's a super quick thing to do. I just want it to kind of be dry before we add the mats, so I can talk for a minute and let these dry. So I've already got those painted in there, just all the little inside crevices are painted. But I wanted to show you, I've already pre-cut all of the mats for inside of the trays, but I wanted to show you where they're at. So they're in the crafty tray section. And you're gonna want, if, you, if you're covering the B size, the B size you're going to want, because that's what the Crafty Cubby is that we're filling is the size B, so all of these trays, and that's just that it's the depth, is the B. Um, you're gonna want page 9M, so this is the largest tray, that's this one. That's the inside mats for that, so you're gonna want one page of that. Um, I printed mine off with the coffee stain background, but you can do whatever you want. If you want to put it on pattern paper, put it on pattern paper. If you want to trace it out, go ahead and trace it out. If you want to just use uh, black cardstock or craft cardstock or something solid like that, print it out on that. It's, it does not matter. It's totally fine. Um, and you're, and I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but the only ones, the only templates that have the writing on there is the ones in the guidebook, not the ones that you would print out. You print this out to make your workbook and your guide um, for your projects, but you don't use these to print out onto your templates, okay? I mean, print out onto your paper to put onto your project. So I have already cut that out. So there's the largest one, that's page 9M. And then the next one is 12M, and that's this one over here. That's the medium. So that's this one. And then that's the B size. So if you're filling a, a C size tray or C size cubby, use the C, which would be this one here. But we're doing the B, so I printed one out of that. And there's two sets on that page, so I just needed the one. And then the last one you're gonna need is 15M, which is this one here. That's the smallest little crafty tray. Um, and that one is in the B size. So this, this one here, it's page, 
It's page 15M and there are three sets of mats on this page. So I already cut out one set. And that's all we need for the moment. So I'm hoping these dried pretty well. What I did do too is I cut them out and then I just took my ink and just kind of hit the white edges because it's already got a distressed edge on it. Well, there you can kind of see on the back, maybe if it'll focus. You can kind of see where my blending tool kind of got the back. So I just kind of went and did the edges of everything so there wasn't a white line or if I cut it wrong or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my art glitter glue and I'm gonna just go ahead and start the only one I'm not going to put on here is the front panel. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to do the base. Get it in there. Wiggle it around just a little. Um, I'm going to use my bone folder. I do have another bone folder. This one is a different size. But it would, it actually would be better for something like this. It's a Teflon bone folder and it's kind of like a, okay, it's got a square one. I don't know. They call it something ergonomical or something. I don't know. So if you want to use that, that does actually work better for a situation like this, but you don't have to have it. Okay. So we're going to put, whoops, I keep missing the two long inside side pieces. Right, and so you can even use it for that there too, or again, whichever one. But it does help when you've got a bigger spot you have to uh, burnish down. It does help to have that bigger one. All right, put the other side on here. It's stuck down already. It got a little crooked. Okay, so now we got the front and back panels, so right? the inside front and back. We're just gonna put one on and then we're gonna save the other one for after we get our handles on, our pulls or whatever it is that we're using. So I'm gonna put the back one on. Just like that. And I'm gonna save the other one for later. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for these other two. Okay, so I got all of those matted on the inside there, right? And then I went ahead and inked all of the edges all the way around each one of these um, while I was off the camera. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to mat the front of these trays because we're going to stamp along the outside. So I need to go ahead. I need to get in the crafty trays. I need... I like to use the actual front panel from when we traced out the chipboard. So this is on page two. So this is the B size for the largest. So it's going to go here. And the reason I like to actually use the actual template to trace out the chipboard for the mat is because when you put these together, they get bigger, they get wider. So this is actually the perfect uh, size for me. You could use the... Um, the same mats that we used um, in here. You could use that on the outside as well. It just depends on what you like. So we need that one on page two. We need the one for the medium size on page two. So that one's for that one. And then we need the one for the medium size on page three, or I'm sorry, for the <laughs> small size on page three. Okay, so we need those three. And I don't really think I'm going to put them in any specific order. I don't think. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to use this green. So this is from my Floral Whimsy. This is what we've been using. And it looks like this. It's available in my Etsy shop. And I'll have it linked down below. It looks just like this. Uh, that's what the Etsy listing looks like. And it's uh, 50 some odd pages. Um, and what I had done is I took like an image that maybe would normally only go portrait. I made one that was portrait and then I made one that was landscape. So no matter what you're printing out, you'll have a piece for everything. So this is uh, available in my Etsy shop. So this is the green flowers and I've already got these two down here that are green, uh, but I want it more green. So I've got a lot of purple 
all the way around, right? And then this one is kind of like the, it's got a little bit of purple and a little bit of that bluish color from the floral whimsies in that. So I wanted to do the green for these, this set of trays. So um, I don't know if I'm going to, it doesn't really matter where they're at because it's kind of like a, this is just one of the scraps from something else. So I'm just going to lay these on here, trace them out. I'm just going to lay them on there right next to each other. I've seen some pictures in Facebook where they've done such a great job of matting all of their trays. So they got everything made, all their trays made, and then they took like a full sheet of whatever, whatever it was and got it matted perfectly so it just looks like you know somebody just went out and cut and just made it perfect so i thought that was really cool i'll show you guys some at the end i'll show you some of my facebook people's creations they're so they they've done amazing they've done a wonderful job with creating their uh, crafty companion workstations and storage units they really have so i want to kind of show them off a little bit all right, so I'm going to cut these out, ink them up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got these cut out and ready to go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the handles that I'm going to use. These are Tim Holtz hitch posts. And I like these. There's, let me show you. I don't have the packaging, or I would show you the packaging of the Tim Holtz ones. But the Hobby Lobby, but the Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby has some too. But these, uh, the posts aren't long enough to go through this chipboard. Uh, I've tried, opened up another pack, but I can't find it where it's at. But you can give it a try. If you're just going to go through the paper and not through the chipboard, these would be just fine. But I want it to go all the way through the chipboard. So I'm not going to be using those. Those are from Hobby Lobby. And then I wanted to show you, these are the, also the handles from Hobby Lobby. Uh, we used those in the last project. And then these are the ones, these are also from Hobby Lobby, but they're in the wood section. So this is what we've been using for this project. Is it going to focus? There we go. And then I also wanted to point out that the ones that I have linked in my shop are, in my shop, the ones that I have linked in my Amazon are these. Let me show you. I'll open it up. Oh, my camera looks like it's getting ready to die. They look exactly like the Hobby Lobby ones. Almost exactly. Let's see if it'll... So, um, these are the ones that are in the wood section, the wood pie, whatever. Okay, I got my battery changed. I just realized you might be able to hear the washer and dryer. I hope not. I hope it wasn't too loud. It's a Saturday, and I had some free time. Uh, my son's here, and he's washing his own uh, laundry, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I just realized that the washer is kind of loud up here. It's downstairs, not in the basement, but it's on the first floor. So, I don't know. I hope you couldn't hear it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use one of the hitch posts. I'm going to use it on the smallest one. Then I'm going to use this kind of medium sized or small one on that medium sized one. Oh, don't throw that away. And then on this larger one, I'm going to use these, this longer one. So there's three different handles. I just think it's cute. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to mark each one of these. I'm going to find, like for this, just this hitch post one, I am going to just find the center or around about the center. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, so there's that one. And then this one, I'm going to find the center and then I'm going to mark the two holes. So I'm just going to mark the center. And then I'm going to sit this on here over that center mark. Let's try to get this correct. And then I'm going to mark those spots where our brads are going to go. And then I'm going to do the same for this. Alright, so on these two I'm going to erase the little center mark. Alright, so now I'm going to glue these down to the front panels here. Making sure I've got the right one facing the front because remember we've already matted the inside at the back and we waited for the 
front and side so that we could put, hide our like brads and things that we're going to be using. Okay, so I got that on there. And then this one. Oh my gosh, you see, I don't know what is going on with me. I keep missing. more. I've got so many paper cuts and wounds from this construction project that we've been doing. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, you would expect to get paper cuts when you're working with paper, right? But these are like, this is just crazy. I mean, they're all over the place. Okay. All right. So we got all three of those on there and matted and ready to go. Oh, that kind of looks like there's a glare. Is it gonna focus? Since my camera's so far away, it doesn't like to focus as good as, or as fast as it used to, right? Okay. Put my pin back in here. This is a stopper topper for my glue pin. I for my glue pen, for my glue tip there. I have a link down below. My friend Michelle makes them. Uh, I have a link to her shop if you're interested. I like to mention that every once in a while. So then I'm gonna take, this is just a, this is a EK Tools stylus. It's a part of a set of three and one of them has a really pointy end. So I'm just going to, where I marked that, I'm just gonna shove that through careful and see how much I'm bending the you probably yeah you can see how much it's bending in but that's okay because I'm gonna come onto this side here and I'm gonna push it the other way but you do these hitch posts they need a little bit more room so I'm gonna come in from the inside with the base of it right and it barely 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 sticks out barely come on there we go See how barely sticks out. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this this other part on top of there. All right. Let me try to shape my box back up again. So that's all there is to that. So that's the same one that I have in the second row. It's the same thing. So there's one done, and then oh, I need to get some brads out too. So then I'm going to mark or punch through these. I'm going to go ahead and punch through both boxes and then we'll get our brads out. You're going to need four brads. Because these come with screws instead of brads. But most of us paper crafters, crafters, <laughs> crafters already have brads, so it's not that big a deal. I understand why the wood section ones come with screws, but I don't understand why the paper section one comes with screws. But again, we must, we always, almost always have brads on hand. Okay, that should be big enough. I need to clean that. That's got so much goop and tape on it. Ugh. Okay, so in my storage unit, my crafty companion storage unit that I, my prototype anyway, I have a drawer that, I, a, a crafty tray that has all of my little brads in it. Yeah, see the Tim Holtz ones is what I'm gonna use. They're longer, they have a longer post than the other ones that I have, these little mini ones. See, they're, like here's a set, I'm pretty sure this was Paper Studios. There's, uh, this is a great little set, but their posts are really small, so I'm going to use the Tim Holtz ones, and I wanted to show you guys something too. Look at, here is one of my ink trays. Come on, I know there's a lot to focus on, camera raw. Do I have it upside down? Right, it says, the journey awakens the soul. This is uh, from Tim Holtz, it's his uh, word. What are they? Um, word bands or something. 
Um, so I used I used big brads, and I used a an eyelet um, to kind of pull it up to make it like a like a pull, like a drawer pull. The only thing is the brads, the post of them weren't long enough, and they're pretty long. So um, it's an idea if you can find another way to attach them down in there. It's another, it's a cute little idea. So I just kind of wanted to experiment with one of the one of the trays that I already had. So I'm just going to dump that in here to find these this color easier. So I'm just going to grab one of these, stick it in there, open it up. Grab another one. Stick it in there. And then I want to try to straighten, making sure that's as straight as possible. Then I'm going to take something squeezy. <laughs> These are, they're not needle, well, I guess they are needle nosed, like jewelry pliers or something. Actually, I don't think these were for jewelry, but you just need to be able to squeeze that to where it's tight and not sticking up all randomly. And that just helps it uh, not wiggle so much. And it does look like I'm still a little crooked. But that's okay. Oh, there we go. So there's another one. And then one last one. So the, you gotta determine too, like if your little handles have bigger holes, then you're gonna need a bigger brad. So since these have little holes, I just need these little tiny, what does he call these? Tiny attachers? Um, I don't know what he calls them. Shoot. I ha I'm pretty sure I'll have them linked in my Amazon, I think. I'm pretty sure. Okay, right? So now all three handles are done. They look super cute, super cute. Okay, so we don't. We have a few more steps to do, and then we'll be done. So that's an idea. Alright, now we just need to mat the insides. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take some glue and just make sure that I get it over top of these little metal bits just so they don't move. Even that one, this one you could of course just done over top of the paper. Um, because it's kind of decorative. I don't know. To me it is. So then I'm just going to go ahead and mat the front panel, the front inside panel of this, and you will not see those brads anymore. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp the edges of our trays, just like we've been doing. And this is the stamp I'm using. So it's a Heidi Swap and it's a script stamp. Um, it was, it's old stamp, so I don't think they make it anymore. So you can, I've got it linked to my Amazon, but I don't think, I think it's sold out. But you can try to find it if you want, or you can use whatever stamp that you have that's kind of like this, you know, like it's collage -y and scripty and whatever. I, I think this is such a cool idea because, you know, you're, you don't even have to mat any part of it. You could just stamp all of the, the surrounding outside drawer areas, crafty tray areas. You know, you can just, I don't know, I just think it adds a really unique, um, a really unique, what's, what's the word I'm trying to say? A really unique look. Okay, so I'm just literally going to lay it on here and stamp it out. And if I miss a spot or two, I'm just going to add a little bit right and just keep going around until you get all the way around the three sides this one needs a little bit right there right and then I'm gonna grab the other one So cool. It just adds so much detail so easily. And you've seen how quick that was. Super fast. Okay. All 
right, so there's our three drawers completed. So they go in this top part. If you're making it just like I am, they go in here like that. What do we think? Huh? And yes, uh, once again, they are supposed to move. This one looks like it might be a little snug right there, but they still come in and out really easily. It's just not sliding when I shift it like that. Let me grab my Facebook. Let me get my Facebook open and I'm going to show you some of my Facebook groups pictures that they've been posting. Oh look, <laughs> Courtney, let me scoot you in. Come on, focus on my, there we go. Uh, Courtney Morton, she said, I mainly use the small ink, so I made a little small ink tray versus, or the ink station versus the big, big one. <laughs> that was cute. Uh, here's a few more. This is uh, Jana's, Jana's, Jana's. I don't know how to say your name. Her second crafty companion. And look at that. I mean, look at how amazing these pictures are. Okay, let's see. These are different projects. Somebody's hot mess. That's familiar. Tina White. She made another one except she did like little um string pulls good idea good idea barb i think i showed you barbs already carols look at how soft and sweet and pastelly all of hers are her name is carol isn't that sweet okay um <laughs> oh this one's fun this is a work in progress this is lisa She's making a fun one, work in progress. Super cute. Oh, I already showed you that one. That's a different project. Somebody's work in progress. Um, let's see. There was another one. Look at look how pretty this picture is. This is uh, Lois. She made her garbage bow and her ink station. Look how pretty. Mm, it's such a pretty picture. I think I showed you that one already. Oh, there went my drawer. This is Katie's. I think I showed you Katie's already too. Right, looking good. Um, I don't know if I showed you this one. Leslie, I think I did because of the pretty butterflies. Okay. Here's a work in progress by Gigi. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. Like, cute. They're just doing an amazing job, Barbara's. Barbara's making a beautiful one. Looks like Love Story, Prima Love Story that she did, that she used. Yeah, let's see. There's one made. Mary made one with the lavender paper collection. It looks so good, don't it, you guys? Y'all have seen Laura's. I'm pretty sure you saw Laura's. Here's another pretty one from Patricia. Look it. Nope. Yeah, I think I've I think I've showed you most of these already. Alexa. I think that's how you say her name. Alexa Rogers. She made some really pretty ones. Alright. So anyway, they've done a fantastic job. They all look beautiful. That one's a pretty black and white one by Helma. Anyway. So I love seeing them. So if you're not a member of my Facebook group and you want to join, I'll have a link down below. Just request to join. Got to answer all the questions and then one of the admins will um, check you out. And then you can start posting your pretty uh, Genevieve projects as well. Okay, you guys, that is all we're going to do today. In the next video, we're going to do the, um, the crafty mini racks. And they look like this. They're little mini magazine racks, right? There's three different sizes. And they fit in the crafty top tray. So you could have um, one of each size in the top here. Or you can just have the two small. You can do whatever you want. You can make a bunch of the little ones and really separate things out. 
Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the description box. There's all kinds of info down there, all kinds of links. Um, the information, the, the show more, the arrow down button that's down there below the video. There are links to the templates. There's links to the Floral Whimsy. There's links to Amazon. There's links to... Uh, other videos and video playlists and other products and things that I use. All of that is down there below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that bell notification. And then we should have some other videos here on the screen that you might enjoy watching. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.